Hey everyone, Cookie here. This is my CSR 50 game in Rumble Pit. The map is Serenity. I really like Serenity. It's uh, it's kind of a medium range map. It plays pretty well. It has a decent amount of power weapons on it, and you'll see how it plays out. But I spawn in the spot to be in in this map. The spot where I am, where I just spawned, is super high traffic. People always spawn around there, and people always rush there. Um, you're gonna see throughout the game that I always go over there and there are always people there so what I'm trying to do with the snipe is just pick off people long range but unfortunately I get rushed I end up nading myself you may wonder how I didn't die from that nade or that nade I have explosives on so I'm able to survive those I definitely recommend that and then I end up getting the ninja on this dude or the somewhat of a ninja and then I know there's the third guy still there but you always want to check your back on this map because people always, I mean, in, in any Rumble Pit game type, you should just always check your back because people are always going to be behind you. They're always going to be rushing you, especially if they know you have snipe. So right here, what happened is it changed hosts. So Bowser and I were in the middle of fighting each other, and after it generates lighting, you wonder who wins the fight. But we end up trading, which is fine, because you can't, you can't always expect to uh, survive in Rumble Pit. I mean, I've said this in previous commentaries, but you have to be willing to go like 25 and like 23 in order to win Rumble Pit gameplay. In order to win Rumble Pit games, you don't exactly have to go like 25 and 23. You can go like 25 and like, you know, 15 or 13 or like 17. But it's just usually you get a decent amount of deaths in Rumble Pit. See, right here, I'm just holding down this spot. I killed three of them, and there's a fourth one. And look what happens, there's another one. So I wait for them to fight, and then I pop out. Uh, Bro Sidon kills that boom guy, so I end up just trying to pick him off. I clean up the kill, and right where I jumped from, there's another guy. So people rep people always flock to that one spot. It's, it's definitely the spot where you want to go every time you spawn on Serenity. So I'm just going top mid, trying to look for other people. And I end up interrupting a fight so explosive is weak I pre nade this Bowser guy end up picking him off and now I'm just trying to you know stay alive try to shoot across the map uh, trying to pick off people who may be weak see I know I'm still being chased by a guy I'm pretty much not gonna survive in this situation there are too many people around me I was too weak but that's just how it goes sometimes so I spawn in the best spot once again and I noticed that there's a person in front of me, I pick him off, uh, he got someone really weak, and Boom ends up rushing me, I get the three shot beat down, and then right now I notice two people are fighting so I try to interrupt it again. I end up picking off one of those kills. Right here is a perfect example of using your surroundings to isolate a one-on-one -on -one battle. I know there's someone to my right shooting a guy, and I was trying to pick off the guy as well. Once Boom kills the guy, I just end up taking him out because I know he's weak as well. So there's nothing I could do in that situation, but I'm just trying to put shots into people in case he was weak. This gameplay is very short, so it ends pretty quickly. But I spawn in the best spot once again. I immediately interrupt the battle, get a kill, and then pick off the person he was fighting for the double. I'm nading that ramp because that's a common spawn spot on top of that ramp. And, you know, I'm pre-nading explosive... This is my only choke of the game, but yeah, it was pretty bad. Alright, so I spawned on the opposite side of the map. Right here, where I am right here, this is a pretty common spot as well. You can see that one person spawned behind me right after I spawned. I don't like to go there that much though, because, you know, there are just way too many people that, that spawn and rush in there at once. People spawn from both sides of that, whereas the other spot that I was at originally, uh, people can't really rush you from two sides they can only really rush you from one so that's definitely a better spot so you can see as this game winds down I only need four more kills I end up picking up the snipe looking for a kill I notice someone on my radar behind me I try to snipe him but since he's so weak I just pull out my BR and clean up the kill so right here there are two people above me I'm gonna try to make them fight each other and just try to pick off a kill I go for no scopes it doesn't end up working out for me but I get the pre nade and I clean up KSI. So for the last two kills of the game, I notice there's someone behind me because that's a common spawn spot. I end up picking him off. 
I bounce the nade for boom, and I'm just going to rush him because I only need one more kill and I know he's weak. So I end up picking him off, and that was my CSR 50 game in Rumble Pit. I ended up with 25 kills, the next person had 16, and that map was Serenity. So um, like the video if you enjoyed it, um, comment if you have any suggestions, constructive criticism if you enjoyed it at all, you know, any positive or negative comments always help, and uh, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and just spread the news of this Halo channel. Um, that is it, so more gameplays to come, and see you later.